Tonight we kick off a special series for caught misbehaving. Many viewers have filled Stanley's email box about the surge of those rentable scooters on our streets. Yeah, scooters being ditched, dumped and riders just not following the rules. So we begin in scooter jail where cameras have not been allowed until now. What you're hearing is the sound of a scooter being pinged by someone trying to rent it. However, renting that scooter or more than 100 that are here won't be rented out anytime soon. These scooters were designed in California, but apparently they're being impounded in Tempe. I'm in an undisclosed location in the East Valley where literally hundreds of scooters, including Bird, Lime and Razor, have been impounded. A place where several break-ins have occurred by people trying to recover the scooters since there's a market for charging them. Even as I speak, more scooters are being impounded. There are scooters lying around literally everywhere in Tempe, and not just on the Arizona State University campus, who, by the way, has a ban on scooters, including riding tandem. But that's a different segment altogether. If you go one city over, you'll end up in Scottsdale, where you might find scooters covered in mud. At least I think that's mud. Or you might find them sitting in a canal. People don't like them on the path. They leave them on the path and blocks the path, man, and people get upset with them. So people just throw them in the water? I, I mean, obviously. I've read they go 15 miles per hour, but according to one rider, they go... 17 miles per hour. But wait, there's more. What I've noticed, they don't know if they're a pedestrian, they don't know if they're a scooter, they don't know if they're a bike. They don't follow the rules of anything because I don't think there are really any rules. That was Kirk from Joyride, and he and his wife offer cart tours in Old Town Scottsdale. The truth be told, the city of Scottsdale adopted new rules, but none of them seem to include safety. You ride a scooter all day, huh? Yeah. So here's a question I've been posing. What's the safest speed for crashing into the street with no helmet? Oh, I don't know. I haven't gone into the street yet. In a future edition of Caught Misbehaving, I'll show you some who learned the hard way about no helmets and gravity. In the East Valley, Stanley Roberts for Arizona's Family.